warm welcome to the fifth session on the Viva preparation training session series, at which we will be working through the Viva preparation course, so on getting ready for the Viva. The training session series consists of eight training sessions plus an final event, which we are glad to announce. This event will be run by Professor Dr. Bastian Gomisek and it will provide you with the opportunity to pitch one answer to a selected Viber question. And if you want to learn more about that, please take a look at our webinar page where details are provided. With this, uh, the training session format that we adopt is we in each week will look at the week that passed and to clarify any questions that didn't make sense to you or for you to be able to test any answers. After having looked into the past week, we will shift the focus to the forthcoming week in which we this week will focus on the analysis and evaluation. So, but let me ask, how do data and findings and analysis and evaluation relate to each other and what do they have in common? Well, in the more traditional formats, the analysis and the evaluation comes as the next step of the data and findings presentation. So task four, chapter four, data and findings, task five, chapter five, analysis and evaluation. And of course, data and findings are analyzed in itself as well as against the literature. And this surely could be done in one chapter combined. So it might well be that a thesis only has a chapter four that presents findings and evaluation. Likewise, there also might be more than one combined chapters focused on findings and evaluations, be it combined or apart. This might be process is going on, you find something out, you analyze it in detail, you find something out, you analyze it in detail, so it's a progression. Therefore, it might be adopting a number of different formats, depending on the thesis and the research project. But in any case, there will be a clear rational for the difference in the presentation. Either it is due to the research process, like it was a sequential one, or it is due to the problem dimensions that you have been looking at, and you try to find out is there a higher level belonging or a disconnection. It might also be due to the research methods that you have been applied, like you did a survey followed by interviews, followed by pilots, followed by focus groups. So do you present it sequential or combined in one chapter? That is a question and for you to settle on and a rational for it might also be a shift in the problem understanding, like the initial problem understanding turned out not to be the problem. So this was analyzed already in detail, then following the problem has been analyzed in detail. Or it might be due to the level of detail and granularity or the lack thereof. And this is a situation not advised. Now, in this week four, we will focus on the data and findings. In today's session, you will have the sense of getting clarity and of testing answers by working through the data and findings parts. This will then be followed by looking into analysis and evaluation and working again through the questions provided in task five. But some people, like the Nobel Prize winner Richard Feynman, seem to have particular problem-solving abilities that could be summarized as write on the problem, think very hard, then write on the answer. Hmm. Not that analytic? Think again. Is it our thinking all? Well, there can be lots of analytics going on in the thinking process, such as looking into all of what is known and understood, the things that work out and those that won't, why they work out and why they do not work out, and to direct the full attention to that actual problems and why these exist. So it might be not visible, but there might well be a lot of analytics in there. And once a problem is fully understood, then the answer seems to be often rather obvious. And even for complex problems, once being fully understood, one can manage to tear them apart and tackle their subsets inside by chunks. 
and that can be easily digested. So you might want to get some pen and paper and bring your analytics out. In this session today, you had the chance of doing that orally. If you haven't had the chance to attend the session, then you have now the chance of working out the questions and the responses to them in written and get some clarity on the questions and test possible answers to it. And like, for example, take question 11. What are the questions that you could not have asked without the knowledge that this research brought about? Is that obvious? Hmm. On what could not have been asked without the knowledge that the research could have brought about and to which the answer well could be that exactly only due to the full and in-depth understanding of the problem and the subsets of it, you now finally understood what the real questions were. Like the initial research questions, yes, they provided some entrance, but only based upon the findings you managed in the analytics to show the real questions and answers to it. Likewise, how would you read question 10? Which is the findings do you consider to be most interesting? Well, most interesting? Do you mean me personally? Or interesting with regards to the problems that we've been looking at? Now, if you show this type of reflection in the Viber, then you allow and open up pathways on how the viber progresses means you enable the examiner to pick on solution A or B and therefore develop the dialogue further. So showing analytics might help you and the way you interpret questions might vary on the moment on the examiner or against the nature of your research. As said, you have the opportunity through the session series to test answers, to receive further feedback, either live in the sessions or in written towards by using the assignment submission form and to receive some feedback on your questions and doubts. With this, we stop the recording and we'll come into the group activity. And for those that didn't manage it to participate today in the session, be welcome to use the course forum to provide, to clarify any doubts that you might have. With this, we will stop the recording and go into the group work. <laughs>